Hi, on this video we will talk about uh, doing online transactions. So um, online transactions or uh, e-commerce in general is uh, basically purchasing a good or a, uh, an item online like or uh, doing your uh, banking also online um, um, is uh, considered as an uh, online uh, or e-commerce. Uh, e now, in doing an online transaction or e-commerce, it is best to use a well-known website or websites that have been uh, be vetted by others. Now, if you're given a link to an uh, to open an e-commerce website, instead of clicking on that link, uh, type in the address manually yourself into the address field, or use your own bookmark or favorite if you already you know have it on your uh, bookmarks or favorites like Amazon or your uh, bank or uh, even uh, let's say that uh, there's an online uh, grocery that you shop with now um, these websites uh, you know the, the links that give us given to you might you know uh, when you open up it might look legitimate but uh, it's possible that that might be you just um, stealing the uh, icons or images that's available online for this uh, uh, for this online uh, commerce site uh, for you know when when let's say uh, they're trying to fake an Amazon website or your bank website now um, another is that uh, in doing an online transaction um, the online store or the, or, your, uh, or your bank when you're doing bank online should have um, several items uh, in its uh, in its address field so uh, checking on here on an example here um, Amazon okay this is an Amazon uh, sign-in page um, Amazon has uh, on the address field this address field you can see that um, it, uh, it has S on the HTTP um, S here means sec uh, secure um, this is a designation that the uh, site is using SSL or secure sockets layer now um, it is a, a security protocol and uh, with this, the uh, the SSL or the secure socket layers, uh, the uh, browser automatically scrambles the information uh, such as your credit card or even your password before it gets sent out to the merchant or to the uh, um, to that website. Now, um, only the SSL, uh, only uh, the SSL will only allow your uh, bank's uh, merchant software to unscramble this data. So um, another thing is that uh, there should be a lock, okay, a lock symbol or a key symbol, uh, which is you know, more somewhat more common in Europe, to uh, show up on the address field. So with uh, we have some examples with popular browsers here. With Google Chrome, the uh, lock is right beside on the HTTPS, as you can see here with Amazon and with another example like Chase. Now uh, for Internet Explorer. Uh, we have an example here. The uh, S symbol is also on the uh, address field, okay, and the lock symbol is also notice noticeably on the uh, right side, okay. Now, um, with Mozilla Firefox, another well known browser, the lock is right on the uh, address field itself, and the name of the uh, and the name of the uh, uh, company or the name of the merchant, which is in this case uh, Citibank. Um, and uh, also it has HTTPS on its address now um, there are some browsers like uh, Mozilla Firefox and uh, Google Chrome that changes the color of the uh, HTTP to uh, green as you can see here to designate that the uh, site that uh, you're using is uh, secure right now um, if any if somehow you uh, visited a website an, uh, a merchant website and the uh, and the key is broken or that the lock that the lock is open, then uh, that means that the uh, SSL is not active on that transaction. So uh, might as well you know shut down your browser and uh, and check with the online merchant. Okay, so uh, that's it for now regarding online transactions. Uh, thank you.